Pepper, Ocean, Biome, Bialexit, and Robert. Have you ever wondered what organisms are found in the temperate ocean? We are going to tell you. Biome characteristics. This ecosystem is a world with a complex food chain and many organisms that have adapted to extreme and unusual conditions. Temperate oceans are located in the Arctic Circle to the Tropic of Cancer and from the Tropic of Capricorn to the Antarctic Circle. The average temperature in the temperate ocean biome is cool summers and mild in the winter with a much smaller temperature range. This is because water has a higher capacity than soil and rock. The water in the summer takes a long time to warm up, but once it is heated, it retains energy long after the surrounding land has cooled down, helping to moderate the climate. The temperate ocean biome is located in the Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean. The abiotic factors of the temperate ocean are water, light, temperature, pH, salinity, substratum, nutrient supply, pressure, tides, currents, waves, and air. The biotic factors of the temperate ocean are all living organisms like plants and animals. Our animals, the Atlantic hagfish. Other names for Atlantic hagfish is a slime eel. But its scientific name is a myxin gluntosa. It is found worldwide in 16 to 32 inches. Its range is down to about 4,000 feet. The basking shark. The basking shark is the second largest fish in the world. This animal can attain lengths at least 10 meters, but the average size is seven to nine meters. They can weigh up to four tons. The basking shark is usually grayish brown in color and often seems to have a mottled appearance. Atlantic salmon. Atlantic salmon. Its habitat is deep, cool coastal waters. Its range is the North Atlantic Ocean. It is 5 to 20 feet long. Its diet is mollusks, squid, and small fish. There are 12 species of beaked whales. It has a fairly well-rounded body. It has small flippers. Mature whales have a lot of scars from parasites or bites. First to be officially recognized in 1804. They have a pointed tooth on each side of the lower jaw. Our plants. Kelp. Kelp needs sunlight in order to grow. It also needs a hard surface to grow. Kelp consists of at least three parts. The holdfast, stipe, and blade. The holdfast is the part that attaches the kelp to the ocean floor. The blade is a leaf-like part that takes in sunlight to make food. The stipe is the part that connects the holdfast to the blade. Green algae. The green algae is the most diverse group of algae with more than 7,000 species growing in a variety of habitats. The green algae is a paralytic group because it excludes the plant eye. Like the plants, the green algae contains two forms of chlorophyll, which they use to capture light energy to fuel the manufacture of sugars. Phytoplankton. Phytoplankton is another important plant that breeds vital. Most marine creatures feed on it, from large whales to the tiniest of fish. According to scientists, phytoplankton is responsible for about 90% of the oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere. Seaweed. Seaweed is a temperate plant. It is found throughout the ocean. Even though seaweed can be edible, it is known as poisonous. There are many types of seaweed, including red and black seaweed. Amazing facts. The oceans cover 71% of the Earth's surface and contain 97% of the Earth's water. Less than 1% is fresh water and 2 thirds percent is contained in glaciers and ice caps. Nearly 90 volcanic eruptions happen in oceans. Two or three could erupt at any moment. If the ocean's total salt content were dry, it would cover the continents to a depth of five feet. The temperate ocean biome is one of the many biomes on Earth. As you can see, the ocean supplies us with many plants and animals that are important to our life. Can you imagine what it would be like without the temperate ocean biome?